to Tech at NYU workshop. Uh, they're going to be teaching you how to, you know, create your own website by uh, by learning HTML and CSS concepts. And this will be absolutely basic. So if you know how to create a website, this is not for you, right? So just to make sure, if you already know how to create a website, this is not. All right, so this is me, my name is Eric, and uh, I'm a new board member of Tech at NYU, also hosting this uh, Tech at NYU workshop. And uh, half a year ago, I, I created a nonprofit organization called Tech Up, which offers a similar curriculum like this, many, many similar curriculums like this, um, to high school students, our next generation. All right, so also joining us are Jared, is sitting over here, also an e-board member, and Jeremiah, who's over here, will be helping us. It'll be, uh, they'll be our sort of lap partners today. So to, to many, I hope you guys are okay with that. <laughs> An interesting partnership, to many. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? <laughs> we'll figure it out. Yeah. All right, so uh, what is HTML? Let's start from there. Okay. So, um, it's hyper text markup language, right? So what is hypertext? Hypertext, something like this. Um, 
regulations or you know as guidelines as to how you write your web pages, right? And that got evolved to HTML 2.0, and then what happened? It failed. Oops, I'm sorry. It's just not the right spelling. Failed, right? <coughs> so um, we don't use 2.0 anymore. So it's nowadays people are using XHTML 1.5. And then, more interestingly, these days, probably the biggest buzzword you hear is HTML5, and that's what we are going to learn today, right? And that also evolved into XHTML5, which is still in our draft form. So we're going to forget about it, and we're going to concentrate on HTML5 today, right? All right, so what do I need to write a web page? What do you think? Do I need a fancy computer that has high computing power, or do I need to install some fancy software? Probably not. All you need is a web browser, right, to test your website on. And for this, I'm going to use Chrome uh, 10 point, I think I'm running 10.3 at this point. But, you know, you should be able to run your website on any internet web browser. Um, um, occasionally, we're going to use uh, Firefox. Like I said, HTML is, is very, very browser dependent. So each browser renders uh, each HTML file differently. So what you may see on when one web browser might be different from the other. Right? And we need a text editor, right? Who does not know what a text editor is? Text editor, what, what do you use? Mac? It's text yeah. edit. Have you used text edit before? Yep. So on Mac OS, the text edit. On Windows, it's Notepad, right? But we want something with syntax highlight, right? Because we'll be dealing with a lot of code, and you know, if you don't have any coloring, it will be confusing, right? So, but it is okay if you just use Notepad or you know, text edit. Anybody running Linux? So for this, I'm going to be using TextMate, which, in my opinion, is the best text editor for Mac OS. Right. OK, so let's write our first web page, shall we? OK, so I'm going to have my web browser, or sorry, text editor. And all I have to do to create a, an HTML file is to save it as So uh, if you right click on it 
and see view page source, right? You can sort of see how this page was constructed, right? All right, look at that. Right. So this is what a typical home page or website looks like. All right. So it's not just a bunch of text, right? It has some links. It has some less than, greater than signs, right? So um, in order to make a really adequate uh, HTML file, you need a document structure, right? So HTML document requires some structure to the document, and we're going to learn all about that now. Right. Okay, so it's not that easy. So there's a little bit more work involved. And the typical structure of uh, HTML is that, you know, remember it's a markup language, right? So you need an opening and ending, right? So that greater HTML, or sorry, less than HTML greater than indicates the beginning of your HTML document, right? And of course you have to end that with less than slash HTML greater than, right? Yes. Can you provide these slides? Yes. Very good. <laughs> All right. So that marks the beginning of the HTML file, and that marks the end of the HTML file, right? And we need some head, which serves as sort of like a header of your HTML file, which doesn't necessarily get displayed on your website, but it carries some very important information regarding your website, right? So like any other text before, right? You started with the opening head and ending, right? Okay, so, and then if you wanna write any contents on your HTML file, right, you simply write body, right? So body of your HTML gets displayed on your website, or, you know, web browser, okay? And because we started our body tag, we need to end it somewhere, right? So that marks the ending of your body. So let's try that out. Okay, I'm gonna open up my uh, .html file again, right? And I'm gonna write the template I just showed you before. Wow, that's some really fast typing. Um, Ta-da, right? <laughs> so here's a, um, <laughs> sorry. I'm using this thing called a uh, hex expander, and that expands text uh, to save time, right? It's really, you know, tedious to watch someone type. So um, I have that one up there, and in my body, I'm going to write hello HTML, right? All right. And I'm going to go back to my browser, right? And I'm going to go back to my index.html file that I opened previously, right? And I'm going to click on refresh, right? To refresh my website. Wow, not a damn thing changed. Isn't that exciting? What was all about that? You know, it just seemed like a really unnecessary work. But it serves a very important purpose to your web browser. It sort of indicates, you know, it's telling your web browser how exactly to process your HTML file by feeding all that information, right? So it may seem extraneous, but it is an important step, right? Okay, so um, 